Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you about 14 different websites where you can get paid around $50 for every task you complete. The first website you might check is called Appen. Appen has all sorts of both part-time and one-off type jobs that you can do online. And typically these are related to AI training and data collection and things like that. So if you go to their page here for their jobs, they have a lever.co page and they have something called evaluation of speech that you can do in many different languages in many different countries. This is something where basically you will type any name that you know how to pronounce or see a name of a known person, location, product, or organization, then listen to the tool's pronunciation and rate it. In case it was poor, you will correct by recording yourself pronouncing it. Your contribution will be valuable in improving speech recognition technology. So you are helping with creating these like AI voices. It takes no more than 40 minutes to complete 50 evaluations. In total, you will submit between 50 and 150 evaluations on this project. You must, you must be a native speaker of English and reside in the U.S. This is obviously going to vary this part right here based on whether you actually live in the U.S. or which listing you're looking at here. So they'll have some for other languages and countries as well. You do usually need to be around 18 years of age or older and have access to a laptop or PC, obviously. So payment wise, you will be contacted via email by a project team member when the project becomes available with the link and instructions on how to begin. The pay rate for evaluating these is $20 for 50. And then if you proceed to submit 100 more, you will earn a total of $60. So if you submit less than 50, it will not be compensated. So if you go up to around 150 of these, which again, should only take you, you know, somewhere between 40 minutes to, you know, maybe a couple of hours, then you can get paid around $60 for your time. Literally just to evaluate these names that are being spoken by an AI voice, and then sometimes having to re-record one in your own voice if you don't think it's very good. You can also see that they have plenty of like one-time speech collection tasks on here as well as many other types of tasks here. They also have a website called tutsplus.com. Now Tuts Plus actually has a lot of different areas where you can submit content and get paid. They have all sorts of ways where you can basically submit tutorials for you know coding of all sorts. This page right here is actually related to music. I think they have some for WordPress related tutorials, but basically you can do either quick tips or tutorials for these types of things. And they have music.tutsplus.com where you can write a quick tip and make $50. So basically they're saying that a quick tip is a mini tutorial of around 500 words or a screencast of under five minutes in length. In general, it would only cover one main point or technique. So if you're new to screencast, you might like to check out Screener, which is perfect for quick tips since it only allows for video less than five minutes in length and it's easy to get started with. They may also take things like YouTube videos and stuff like that, I'm not entirely sure. But if you submit a tutorial, you can get paid $50 for each quick tip that you do on music.tutsplus.com. And again, they have other forms of tutsplus.com related to coding, using you know programming languages like Python, or something like that, or also WordPress and other things. Next, you have something called WeGoLook. WeGoLook is a, a company where you can get paid to do a few different things. The main thing people are going to think of when it comes to WeGoLook is basically being what is called a looker. A looker is someone who basically uses your phone. They have an app that you use for WeGoLook right here which is actually very highly rated by the way, 4.2 out of five stars. But essentially what you're gonna do is find jobs in your area and then go inspect. So usually this is for like a few different things. It could be all sorts of like vehicles. It could be a scene of something that happened, a property inspection, heavy equipment ins inspection. And really all you do is you take pictures and videos um, from the angles that they tell you to of these different situations. And then you get paid for that. Apparently the pay can be anywhere from 15 to $200, but the average, you know, will be somewhere in between there, of course. They do pay you also via direct deposit or PayPal. Now they also have other jobs that you can do here as well. Like for instance, you could be um, not just a looker where again, you basically um, take inspections using photos and video and data capture of all sorts of different things, but also they have a looker notary. So this is where a notary license is required and you would 
basically photo and data capture inspections that also require executing and notarizing documents. You have Crawford Inspection Services and Roof Inspecting. So if you've ever had experience doing roof inspecting, you could do that. And they also have inspection services for interior and exterior inspectors, if you've ever done that or had experience in that area as well. Like I said, they're normally known for lookers. That's the most kind of entry level thing that you can do here. But again, you have other options if you have a background in those other areas. Another thing you can do is basically focus group studies. So focus groups can be done actually in person, over the phone, or completely online. So one great place to find these is at user interviews. And user interviews is gonna have all sorts of different ones like these where they vary quite a bit in terms of the pay, but most of these will pay you somewhere around a dollar per minute of your time, which is pretty solid because you're obviously talking about 60 plus dollars per hour. Now, obviously you're only gonna do one of these studies every once in a while. It's not a type of income you want to depend on for paying all your bills or replacing your job, but it's something you can do for like a side hustle. So for instance, if you wanted to be at home only, you could go to userinterviews.com. You could browse the studies they have available right now and you could just go to over the phone and online and just check those two boxes. And if you do that, you'll see the ones where you get to do these 100% from home. And again, if you click in person, you will have to go to a physical location. But you have all sorts of different discussions on here. Some of these are gonna be related to like what you do for a living, and they're looking for a certain you know type of employee or demographic. And then some of these are gonna be more for just the general public, where basically you answer questions about you know, some of the tools you use on a daily basis or some of the products you use or what you like or don't like about something. You know, so some you have some heating and cooling discussions. So this would be um, among homeowners in the Bay Area. So even though sometimes they're in, they're not in person, you do sometimes have to make sure that um, you pay attention to whether they mention a location or not. So this one, they have a new website component they're talking about. You have um, calling all landlords who are passionate about managing rent payments. So if you've ever been a landlord, you could basically um, answer questions here, $50 for 30 minutes of your time. So you could like click on that and they'll mention all the things you're going to need, what types of um, subjects you're gonna be talking about. And then of course you get paid from your choice of many different digital gift cards. You also have like help us improve a product in this healthcare space, which can probably apply to a lot of people. And that's $80 for 75 minutes of your time. Have you shopped for a new vehicle lately? $20 for 35 minutes. So as you can see, there are many different types of studies on here. Also make sure to pay attention to the study dates so that you know it's still available. Another thing you can do occasionally, depending on whether they are looking or not, is you can write dating profiles on eserrano.com. So at eserrano, you can get paid to write dating profiles for people. Typically writers only take on one to two clients a week. So this is not something you really wanna depend on for full-time income. But if you feel like you're pretty good at this kind of stuff, you can make 78 to $150 per profile. So you're talking maybe, you know, two or $300 a week, max, something like that. And then you're basically going to apply. The process involves interviewing a friend, taking notes and writing a 200 word essay about that person and another about their ideal mate. So essentially you're gonna to have to probably get a friend or family member to help you um, with the application process. Again, usually the company will either post on job boards or let you know on the website if they're hiring right now. I haven't seen them hiring recently right now, but I think they did have a few availabilities back in 2023. So they do have these from time to time. It might be something you wanna check out every once in a while just to see if they're looking for people. Another thing you can do that can pay you $50 a pop is at user testing, which basically pays you to get paid to test websites. Here, you can get paid as a side hustle to basically just give user friendliness feedback on websites and possibly apps. So with user testing, you get paid via PayPal. They usually pay you within two weeks. You apply, it's very simple. You submit your email, take a quick practice test to join the global network of uh, people who do the testing. You answer some screening questions to match with test opportunities. So sometimes they want a certain demographic for a test, like maybe based on age, maybe based on gender and things like that. Test, then when you go through your test, you can get paid a certain amount of money that's going to vary quite a bit depending on what you do. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of what they used to tell you up front, but they, they basically just make you sign in and see how much they pay after you sign in these days. But 
They used to say up front on their website you could get paid four dollars for every five minute test, ten dollars for every twenty minute test, and between thirty and one hundred twenty dollars per live interview test. So if you're able to do those live interview tests, you can get paid well over fifty dollars a pop if you can do those. But again, that's going to vary. Usually the live interview tests are something you do like you'll maybe do some kind of screen share and be on camera. And they you or they may or may not have you on camera, but either way, they usually record your audio as you kind of make some notes as you're going through there of like what you like and don't like while going through the website. So, as far as user testing goes, that's one of those things that you can do for just extra money via PayPal, and you can also do this worldwide. You also have something like Watch Lab. Watch Lab is very similar to user interviews. This is a website where you can get paid to do all sorts of uh, basically focus groups. So these focus groups can pay quite a bit more than your typical surveys as I've shown you with user interviews. And WatchLab is another one of the more common ones where you can find opportunities on a fairly consistent basis. So if you're ready, you just go to join our community on WatchLab.com. But if you want to go to Facebook, you can go and see what they actually have available right now. They have 16,000 likes, 18,000 followers. This is a company that is at Facebook.com slash WatchLab Research. And then you can see that like they have one post yesterday, they're seeking parents of young children in the San Francisco area for a paid market research study. This one pays up to $325. So if you're a parent in the San Francisco area, you can answer a few questions. Teens and young adults, 14 to 26, for a paid remote market research study on social media, earn up to $150. So for instance, if you were interested in this one, which was just posted two days ago, you could click on that and it'll take you to more information about it. So they'll tell you the topic, the genders, ages, sessions available, type of study. It's virtual one-on-one -on -one for this one. 60 minutes is how long it would take. Nationwide means your location is not going to really matter. But a lot of times you do have to be located in the United States for these types of sites. An incentive is $150, which you will be paid within four to six weeks of these studies completion. So. When it comes to another place where you can make extra money, you might want to check out Watch Lab. You can see what they're actually posting by looking on their Facebook page if you want to see what they have available before signing up. Another thing you can do is check out onlinebookclub.org. This is a place where you can actually get paid around $60 or so to review books online. So if you've ever been interested in reviewing books online, you can go to onlinebookclub.org. You can register and you would obviously want to become a part of the review team. So you'll need to sign in and then you can see the review team page and then get paid to review all sorts of different books. As you can see, you know, they'll have many different books listed on the side here, like the uh, March book of the month, February book of the month and all that stuff. And then their actual sign up page looks like this. So basically this is something where you can get paid five to $60 per review and it's completely free to sign up. For your first review, you will just be given the book for free. After that, you will be eligible for the paid review opportunities. You do not have to say you love the book. If you didn't, you are being paid for an honest, quick review, not a positive review. So they tell you that right here. They want you to be honest. The first review you do, you're not getting paid. You're just getting the book for free. And then basically after that, you can get these books for free and get paid to review them after that. Another one that's kind of similar to that would be Kirkus Reviews. Kirkus Reviews is another one where you can actually get paid to review books online as well. And as far as Kirkus goes, it's usually $50 for a 350 word book review, which will be assigned to you and due within two weeks. So you don't really get to pick the book, but a lot of these types of companies, they want certain books to be reviewed because authors come to them with a new book that they are trying to get reviews for. So that's the whole point. So they're gonna basically assign you what the auth authors submit and things like that. So as far as how you would get to be a book reviewer, you would just go to their careers page, which looks like this. It'll say career opportunities here. And then you would become a book reviewer. It's a freelance project basis. You can do this from anywhere. And again, typically they pay you around $50 for every 350 word review that you do. So it's a pretty short review, really. They're looking for experienced book reviewers for English and Spanish language titles to review for Kirkus Indie, the book review magazine section dedicated to self-published authors. So you're gonna be discovering a lot of new authors here as well. Reviews are in the same format and held to the same high standards as other sections of Kirkus Reviews. So you might want to read around the website a little bit, get an idea of what the quality looks like and the layout. 
and then reviews are about 350 words due two weeks after the book is assigned. Currently, they review nearly all genres for books of all lengths in digital, hardcover, and paperback form. Another thing you can do that's a little bit different is you can submit articles to a company called fundsforwriters.com. Fundsforwriters.com is a place where basically you can you can find a a group of people who are trying to basically uh, read about and learn more about what it's like to write for a living. So this is a place where you can get paid to essentially guest post articles for up to $75 each. And if you did a reprint, it'd be about $25 each. So you have these submissions, make sure you go to fundsforwriters.com slash submissions. And of course, I'll have links to all of these in the show notes for you but they have the, sub, the freelance submission process here. Articles should fall between 550 and 650 words. Each Funds for Writers newsletter lists only one article, short and sweet and to the point. So make each word count, make your writing tight, watch the passive voice, give it a beginning, middle and ending, and a strong takeaway with real examples, preferably of your own, why you are the one to write this article, etc. They also don't want things like a list of links, um, they said submit in Word, 12 to 14 point font, no attachments, please embed submission in the email. So then they'll give you a few things that they don't want, like how to write, how to develop plot, characters or settings, topics that cannot relate in some manner to making more money as a writer. They do want things like ideas on breaking into a particular writing market, pointers on winning writing contests, unique ways to develop an income with words and things like that. Things that have to do with actionable things that help you make money writing. Hence, they say think was like list markets with links, not just by name. The readers like to walk away with tools to use. So you might want to, you know, mention the tools that could be used in these strategies that you outline. And basically they tell you via PayPal or Venmo, you get paid $75 for unpublished original articles, $25 for reprints over 90 days old. So that's kind of how they're going to pay you. Another one that's fairly similar to that, that you can use to get paid for submissions is writersweekly.com. This is going to be very similar. It's a place where people um, basically come here to learn more about writing and getting paid for writing. And you can submit articles talking about these subjects and get paid. So they, they have a few different things that they publish. Like for instance, if you clicked on featured articles, it'll look something like this around 600 words. $60 on acceptance via PayPal for first rights only, $30 US for reprints. And then they have marketing secrets, 600 words, $60, $30 for reprints. And then you also have some other things as well. But as far as the um, what they do not publish, ongoing columns or series by one writer, guest posts, poetry, cartoons or jokes, book reviews or any product or service reviews and those types of things. They also mention a few things that they do not want you to pitch in terms of articles to them for very common industry topics. So like how to blog, networking, SEO. They're basically telling you they don't want all the basic stuff that's already on a lot of other websites out there already. And they also only pay via PayPal. So make sure that you do have a PayPal account that is uh, ready to go and that you can accept payments with it. Another thing you can check out is called test.io. Test.io is a place where you can actually get paid for every bug that you find on a website. So you just go to test.io and go to the become a tester page, which is at a, a button kind of at the top right of the website. Usually you join the freelance testing community. You can work from anywhere, make extra money. It's not going to pay a whole lot, but it's typically somewhere around $50 for every bug that you find in an app or a website. And they usually pay you via PayPal. So you can test the latest apps. You can also discover a lot of cool apps you otherwise wouldn't know about this way. And then you can expand your mind, sharpen your skills for finding bugs through websites. And kind of maybe you could turn that into a, a skill set that pays you in other ways as well. But from registration, you just you register here, you get onboarded after you're approved, you start testing and earning, you'll receive invites for your first test after that and then you start building your testing cred based on the devices skills and interests while you are continuously learning and then you will get invited to do more tests after that and then become a great tester from there so as far as um, that goes they have other resources like a tester academy and everything if you need it but that's another way you can make a little extra money is by finding bugs on websites and apps next we have a company called userlytics userlytics is a place that's kind of similar to user testing where you can get paid to test websites so this is a place where 
you're gonna get paid to give user, usability feedback, basically, is this website user friendly? What do you like and not like about it? You can also get started as early as 16 years old, apparently here, but I would think that if you're under 18, you'll probably have to get your parent or legal guardian's permission. So just keep that in mind. And also, this is a website where you can get paid via PayPal, usually within two weeks of completing the test. You provide your email to join their global network of testers. You're gonna answer some screening questions that'll match your skills and things like that to what types of websites and app testing you might be best for and then you receive compensation for every completed test. They don't really tell you upfront exactly how much you'll get paid per test, but used to they would say that you could get paid up to $90 per test via PayPal. So again, that's what their website used to tell you upfront. It doesn't necessarily tell you that upfront anymore, but it's one of those things where it's probably somewhere still in that ballpark. They also have an app that you can use as well, which is actually very highly rated at 4.4 out of five stars. Last but not least, another thing you can do is actually donate your poop, which sounds weird, but it's actually furthering science to help them find um, possible cures for all sorts of diseases. So you can do this and get paid $75 for every stool sample that you submit via the Good Nature program and this is at goodnatureprogram.com. So here they are allowing you to get paid up to $1,500 a month or $75 per sample to basically just donate poop. So you're gonna have to actually leave the house for this one. I think this is the only one on the list where you might have to leave the house, but it's going to take you to a, you know, it's gonna be like a place where you would submit blood work or something like that probably, or you know, you might do a drug test, those types of places where they have some sort of lab there or something, and then you will basically um, submit your sample in a place like that in your local area. So it'd probably be best if you live near a major city so there's one of those areas near you, but you get paid up to $1,500 a month, you contribute to science and helping further, you know, the research on diseases and cures for those diseases. And basically, for more information, another thing they usually look for in people here is healthy individuals who have regular bowel movements. You're 18 to 50 years old, a normal weight, don't smoke, and have no history of gastrointestinal disease or alcohol or drug abuse to donate their poop. Also, you must be available to donate three to four times a week at the collection site, and you cannot participate if you are pregnant, though they encourage you to keep them in mind for the future if you are pregnant. So that is kind of the way it works and these are some of the best ways that you can get paid around $50 or so for every single task that you complete. These are some of the best websites that pay you around that much. If you thought this was helpful, please click the like button. It helps me know what types of content you actually enjoy. And also don't forget to leave a comment if you wanna ask me for you know some future content in another video, like there's something you want me to cover in the future, or if you wanna just ask me a question, let me know, I'll try to get to what I can and also make the videos that you are asking for, and I'll see you in the next one.